hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is the first time here i'm amina so actually i filmed an intro and i ended up deleting it without realizing and um, i couldn't retrieve it so sorry for the bad intro by the way it feels so good to finally be back after such a long break i took that break because i needed it and i'm glad that i'm back now Today I'm going to show you how to make baked fish that has northern Nigerian twist in it. And by the way, if this is the first time here, I'm Amina. Welcome to Amina Cooks. Okay. So I've already roasted some paprika, some scotch bonnet, um, baby onions and spring onions along with um, oil, some sprinkle of salt and dried rosemary. I've even roasted um, green cardamom pods. I think you can see them here um, then kimba this is one of my favorite spies right now it's indigenous of northern Nigeria it has this um, it's quite similar with clove but it's more intense in flavor it's quite strong so you have to be very careful when using it because seriously it can overpower a dish in no time then some cloves of garlic so I'm going to transfer them into a blender Yes, I've just roasted it on the preheated oven, 180 for some few minutes. Yeah, so now I'm going to transfer it into a blender to form the marinade. Please and please, if you haven't subscribed before, kindly tap on that subscribe button and hit the bell by the side as well. That way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. Without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. This is what the veggies look like and I've added some seasoning cubes, a bit of white pepper bit of cinnamon this is not gonna half it's okay it's fine it's okay i think this should be up to half teaspoon yeah it's okay this is actually a quite a simple marinade and i like it that way because as you see simplicity is the new elegance when it comes to cooking sometimes simple you just have to um, bring some few ingredients with some good technique you'll have good food in no time sometimes simplicity wins some soy sauce, yeah, around two tablespoons. Thank you. Then apple cider vinegar. Yep. I think when you saw that lots of peppers, you'll be thinking that it will be too spicy. But luckily, this vinegar will balance the spiciness, so it won't be that much spicy. One more last thing. Um, this is actually a seasoning, but it has red food color in it. I love the color so i added it if you don't find the seasoning you can food um red food coloring i just love the color honestly but it's not necessary that's just a preference of mine okay i'm going to add sugar white sugar to sweeten up sweet it up a little bit and um again sugar will keep the fish moist throughout the cooking process but if you don't like sugar, you can use um, honey or brown sugar if you don't even like white sugar. Or you can totally leave it out if you don't want. Then some lime zest for some freshness. If you can remember, the veggies in here are already cooked. So you want to balance the flavors. So a little bit, a little bit lime zest for freshness. So I've chopped some spring onions along with um, what, some ginger. I think it's about sorry garlic i think it's about five cloves of garlic yep. so i'm going to mix them together uh also i have preheated the oven to 200 and um so i actually marinated the fish with the marinade for four hours but please if you have time do it overnight that will it will, it will be more flavorful and the fish that i used was crocker fish but you can use any type of fish that you want here's the fish in the pan as you can see i've tried to separate them to give each enough room because if you overcrowd the pan it won't bake it will steam i'm sorry for all the inconveniences uh, as i have mentioned earlier i lost the clips but i filmed all those processes but next time i promise to be more careful for now and i hope you yeah. manage with this so now this um spring onion slash garlic mixture i'm going to stuff it inside here so okay as you can see i've already stuffed the fishes with it um in case you're wondering why i don't put it on top um first reason it will burn and we don't want that 
and if you're thinking maybe the onion might or the father fish one i don't think it will and second if you're truly a northern nigerian then you know that we don't like that strong smell oh sorry strong fish flavor i don't want to call it smell yeah so the onion plus the garlic will help and i'm going to show you another trick some salt and chop of the fish this is around this will allow this 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 will allow the skin to crisp up okay yeah um so okay the oven goes the wow sorry the fish goes into the oven um now um, i think i'm going to bake them for 25 to 30 minutes yeah. maybe even less than that let's see how it goes I ended up baking the fish for 35 minutes under 180 and that's how it turned out to be so crispy on the outside and so juicy in the inside that's how a good fish is supposed to be and with that be well and see you next time